Yo, people. So, I got another one. <laughs> and this one is another mad one. This is definitely up there with one of the maddest ones I've done. Now, obviously, I just dropped previous to this a 27 club um, video explaining where all of the 27 club were now as their new roles. Now, I'm well chuffed to have found all of uh, the new characters of the 27 Club. And when I say the 27 Club, I mean reference to the music. I know there's a bigger 27 Club, but I mean the main music people, uh, because that's what I'm interested in. Um, so I wanted to find where all of their new roles were, or at least prove where, who they'd gone on to play so they'd fake their death. And there were the two people that I was missing was Jim Morrison and Brian Jones. Now, I thought Jim Morrison was someone else, and I still think he's that person, but I wanted to find a more well-known person, and shout out to whoever put me on to who he was in the comments. Um, uh, I can't remember your name, but and then I realised as soon as you said it, I was like, yeah, of course. Researched it, found it, and I put it in my other video. I won't mention it on this video, so if you haven't seen it, go and watch that video. I'll also do another video at some point on him as well. But the last person to find, and I literally found this yesterday, whilst before I did this video, was Brian Jones. So I thought, right, I've only got Brian Jones to find now. So I thought, I want to do this video, but I've got to find Brian Jones. I just Googled Brian Jones lookalikes, bang, and this popped up. And I just saw it straight away. I just was like, yes. Intuitively, I just saw it. I knew it was right. And I went and did the 27 Club video. So I'll put that at the end of this thing. But go and see that video uh, if you've not seen it after this. So let's get on with it. Without further ado, I believe Brian Jones of the Rolling Stones, who supposedly died in suspicious circumstances, possibly murdered, is now Rupert Grint, a.k.a. Ron Weasley, from the Harry Potter films. And there he is. Now, this is just mental. Now, like I said, I saw the lookalike pictures, the comparisons, and I was just saw it straight away. I've been into this stuff enough, long enough now to know what's going on or to know to a, to a certain level what's going on and to understand how they can do these things. And a year ago, I would never have believed th this would be the case. But, you know, the more you deeper you go, the more you're into the more you awaken, the more you see that they're doing things that are not what we call uh, normal uh, in our reality. So, you know, the first thing you think is, how can Brian Jones who died and was an adult, and died at obviously 27, be come back as a kid in a Harry Potter film. Now, I cannot say for definite I know how they do all this, but over this video, I'll put across what I believe is possible possibilities of, of how they do this. So uh, there he is, obviously, there with Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson from the Harry Potter films. Now, I can't stand Harry Potter. I think I watched the first film. I couldn't even tell you what goes on in it. I cannot stand that wizard shit. That and Lord of the Rings, it's all bollocks to me. I have no interest in it, and it just annoys me that people like that shit so much. But each to their own. But, you know, J.K. Rowling... She's blatantly part of it. I'm not sure who she is. I've not looked into her, but she's definitely another actress. So uh, there's, there's the Rolling Stones back in the 60s. Um, there's Brian Jones. Notice how much smaller than he is to, to Mick Jagger. So this is the photo that I Googled and I found. Totally lookalikes. And um, this is where I saw it. I just saw it straight off from this. And I was like, wow. And then... Found various other ones. Look at this one here, looking even more like him. You know, that's a blatant connection there. Look what he's wearing and the same haircut, man. It's ridiculous. And then I found this one. And then I found this one. And I thought, wow, they look so alike as he's got older there. So you put them together. 
apart from the different color hair and from what I could see, um, Brian Jones had like strawberry blonde hair, so it looks different colors in different photos, but the look on their faces with different color eyes, different color hair there, but they look exactly the same. And there's Brian Jones playing an acoustic guitar there. And then there's uh, Rupert Grint playing acoustic guitar. Notice his hand signal there. Masonic and Devil in one. So Rolling Stones, blatantly part of it. Um, is their album their Satanic Majesty's Request. Interesting title. Especially apt as I'm releasing this over the Queen's Jubilee weekend. So let's look at the album cover. Oh look, they're all dressed as wizards. <laughs> Notice Saturn in the top left there. Saturn is Satan. Saturn worship, Satan worship. All the same stuff. So here's a little bit of a better view on it on the tape. You can sort of see it's a bit of a clearer picture. But you know, he's definitely wearing a wizard hat there. There's no doubt about it. And there's Brian Jones uh, on the second to the left, dressed in wizard stuff. That's um, Mick Jagger on the right. But look at this, Rolling Stone magazine, Rolling Stone, Rolling Stone's Guide to Harry Potter, rock stars that could be wizards. Blatant little link there. And then check this out, Rupert Grint's Magic World of Hex Drugs and Rock and Roll. <laughs> now for, for those of you who don't know what a hex is, a hex is like a magic spell. And this, where that comes from is Saturn strange hexagon clouds, as you can see here, that in the middle of the Saturn clouds, there's a, he a hexagon. And that is where the word hex comes from, because a hex is what a witch does, and the witch is doing Saturn worship. And Saturn worship is ultimately what they call, quote unquote, black magic. Which is ultimately what they've been doing to us for years through all of this music and all of uh, the media, films, Hollywood, etc. So how does Brian Jones become this kid in Harry Potter? So I can't profess to know, but from what I've learned over my videos, and those you've been, been watching my videos, you'd understand this, is that they stay young for a very long time and they are possibly immortal. So it seems that their base characters are very young looking. Uh, and when they play older people it's all prosthetic masks but this is just presuming because there could be something else going on here that they have the ability to change the way they look but when you think about films and how they make it in the films it's very easy to make all the props bigger uh, i've got a few examples here to, uh, obviously these are exaggerated but make all the props bigger to make the people on the film look smaller. So that's possibly that they could just be adult size in those early films, because obviously now they're in the films and they're adults, but they were adults in the early films and that they've just been made to look small by all the props being made bigger. So let's look at some stats. So Brian Jones died age 27. Um, and he died in 1969, and he was five foot six, so he was a small guy. Rupert Grin is supposedly five foot eight. So interestingly, he's 33 at the moment, which is a great little uh, synchronicity. So Brian Jones died in 1969, and there was loads of rumours about that he'd been murdered. So here's a Netflix documentary on it. Interestingly, he made a soundtrack for a film in 1967, two years before he died, called A Degree of Murder. Interesting degree, Freemasons, 33 degrees. There's a little link there. But he made this film and it was starring his girlfriend, Anita Pattenberg. And this is her with Brian Jones there. So let's have a look at Rupert Grint's girlfriend. Or, and this is her here, Georgina Groom. And if you can make the look at these comparisons here, you start to see very, very similar. And if you compare these ones here, her with G G Egyptian eye makeup and this one with Egyptian eye makeup, they look very, very similar. Different eyebrows and she's got a fringe, but the eyes and the face look, look very, very similar. 
So then I noticed Brian Jones had another partner, Zuzu. So I'd never heard of this Zuzu, so I googled Zuzu. And uh, apparently she was a uh, French actress and model. So I thought, well, I wonder who she is. I wonder who she, if she's part of it. I thought, I wonder if she's Emma Watson. Now, I don't know these films, so apparently Ron and Emma Watson get it together. So I didn't know that. So then I thought, oh, that's interesting. So I googled Zuzu looking younger, and this is what I found. I thought, oh, wow, that's Emma Watson. <laughs> Definitely. And when you compare all these photos, you can see that Zuzu, when she was young, looks very, very much like Emma Watson. I mean, look. So, so similar. They've virtually done nothing. Maybe something, but just the haircut changes. It's all I can really see. Maybe the eyebrows or something, but they've not really done a lot. That's Zuzu there. It's Emma Watson. I mean, it's so, it's blatantly the same person. That one, this is the one that got it for me. That's, that's just Emma Watson. I could see it straight away. And then I realised that both Emma Watson and Rupert Grint starred together in a 2014 film of Peter Pan. <laughs> Blatant. So then I found this picture of uh, Rupert on holiday with his mum. And then this picture of Brian Jones' mum and dad. They look very similar. And then uh, this is a picture, weirdly, with Noel Edmonds in it of Rupert and all his family. That's his mum and dad at the back. So if you notice the woman there, on the right, obviously, looking very, very similar. And then uh, we have the dad, obviously. Notice the ears and the hair. And then look at the dad here on the left. Ears and hair. Very, very similar. Prosthetic makeup. Change the looks. Easily could be the same people. So, yeah, I mean, what can I say? It's crazy. I mean, how on earth is Brian Jones of the Rolling Stones, Rupert Grin, a.k.a. Ron Weasley from Harry Potter? How does that even make sense? It doesn't until you start opening and expanding your mind to different possibilities uh, in this reality that we are not used to and that they hide from us. Because... They told us that they are forever young. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace!